It's your boy Scotch Davis, aka Skid of the Da Doc from the Blood of the Da straight from Harlem, JBC affiliate. Uh, you might know me from Future Street Drug Sounds. I was on Feeling and Killing It with Dom. George Cush the Button with Smoke Dizzy, Me, Camp Money, and uh, Resident Fly Guy. <laughs> so, how long have you been uh, making music? How long have you been really seriously per pursuing? Uh, I started doing music. I mean, I've been doing music for a long time. My father's a musician. My mother's Mary Davis. She was on the first Jay Z album on 222. She's the lady. Uh, but it's like, uh, who's smoking reefer? Shut the hell up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who's told to shut the F up? That's my mom. She gave a lot of promoters, a lot of artists that first starts in New York City, underground hip hop artists. So, like, I started doing music just as a product of my family being in music. Right. And then eventually it, it really took shape in like 2000. I really started taking it serious with the writing. I always did beats and played drums, played bass, but I didn't really take the music, music series, wanted to be an artist. Until about 2000, and I really say 2002 is when I finally took all my chips and cashed them in, stopped going to school, stopped doing all of that. Like, rap is what it is. So, being from, from the East Coast, mm -hmm. being out here on the West Coast, mm -hmm. what, are there any differences, sim uh, similarities that you see in the music? Um, the, the, the similarities is, you know, people want to hear lyrics again. All across the board, all across the state, it doesn't matter whether you're from the East Coast, West Coast, South, North, Midwest, people appreciate lyrics and bars again, you know, so that's a similarity. And I mean, the differences are, you know, the obvious ones in fashion and the way we dress, but being that skate culture is taking over so yeah, much, yeah. you see a lot of the fashion is crossing over and it's, there's no, there's really no fashion barriers. Whack is whack and fresh is fresh. Swag is swag, I guess, these days. <laughs> but, uh, so... If anybody, if people that haven't got a chance to hear hear you on any mixtapes, and haven't had a chance to hear you personally, how would you explain your sound and what you're bringing to, to the table? Um, it's just uh, honesty, you know. Shout outs to my brothers Overdose, who pretty much touched on the main nerve of what a lot of our music is about. It's just very honest, you know. Our, our lives are pretty cool without having to fabricate and uh, put extras on it. How they say, putting ten on two in LA and. Uh, we don't have to do a lot of that. You know, we're really fortunate to be, I'm really fortunate to be able to live my life, you know, uh, suffer free and, um, swag. you know, just uh, enjoying my time, enjoying the music. My music is truth, you know, truth, best, best I know, you know, my truth ain't everybody's truth, but I think it's pretty close. <laughs> so, let's rewind. Mm -hmm. You are talking about your mother. How does it feel to, 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 to hear her voice and, and, and for her to forever be immortalized on what? Considerably one of the greatest albums right. in hip hop in hip hop history. It's crazy because it's like you know when everything is happening while it's happening, you don't really get to take time to appreciate what you might be witnessing or you may be a part of because you're right in it, you right. know. But once you step away from it and you look at the uh, the ramifications of what it is that she's been a part of, you know, like you said, Reasonable Doubt is an album that's you know been able to be re released and go platinum again, yes. you know, and do amazing things. So all it does is just give me a. It, it's a gift and a curse. It's like, okay, here's your bar now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is what you grew right, up on. This right. you gotta jump over that. So, hypothetically speaking, let's say tomorrow you walked away from everything. Mm -hmm. What? How would you want your legacy to be explained? How would you want your legacy to to? How, what, what? Give me three words that you want to define your legacy. Uh, progress, progression, definitely. Uh, loyalty, and. Uh, Man, uh, honesty, you know, if I could pick three words to describe it, uh, and then the phrase thought provoking, you know, I always want people, anytime I walked away from you, I don't care if you agree with what I was saying or whether you disagree, I want to spark that thought that even had you thinking about what it is that we were talking about or what it is I decided to rap about in this bar or this song or this subject matter. I just want you, I want to lead you to the next thought. You know, it's kind of like needing that first match to light the whole, you know, campfire. The person's going to walk up and see the campfire, but they're not going to know about that initial spark. I just want to be that initial spark. Before we get up out of here, uh, you're in the Bay. Uh -huh. uh, what have been, what have been some of the good things you've seen since you've been out here? Uh, some things that you experience. I've been able to. I've been able. To, I've been coming up here for a while. I used to do sales for LRG. Nice. So I was doing West Coast sales, and I, you know, I used to come up here often. Uh, I love the uh, this. Uh, what is it? The Monte Cristo from Mamas. Okay. That's my thing right there. <laughs> uh, 
I, the Bay reminds me a lot of New York City, just flip, you know, like Manhattan is San Francisco, right, right. Oakland is Brooklyn, right. you know what I'm saying, Emeryville is like Queens, you know, you got right. the good parts, right. and you start right. going to right. you got your bad parts, it right. gets rough, if it was like the Bronx, out the way, you know, I feel like at home, I think any, you could go anywhere in this world if you keep a pure heart, you know, positivity. You gotta, you gotta love our broccoli too. You know oh yeah, saying? for sure. I mean, yeah, that, goes without, that goes without saying. <laughs> that goes without saying. You don't even really have to speak. Once you just touch the state of California as a whole, <laughs> you know, if you're not into the veggies, you're a meathead. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, before we leave, uh, Twitter, Facebook, email, the whole everything. We might want to get in contact with you. Find some music. Really Scotch got. Davis, S K O T C H D A V I S N O C. You won't get me. It's uh, Ask Scotch Davis for the Twitter. Uh, my Tumblr skid from the blid s k i d from the phonetically spelled blid, and uh, you can always find me on JBC. Anything that has to do with just be cool, just be cool dot net, and uh, man, like I said, you Google me, and wherever there's something popping happening, nine times out of ten, I'll be. Yo, we here, y'all. Three three thirty rich. It's Don Kennedy, Mo Green, Overdose, Scotch Davis. It's going down now. Y'all gonna see some video through here as well. We're gonna have a B-roll rolling for y'all. We're gonna have some video for y'all. Streets Talk Radio, Rhyme Radio, all, all day play that FM. We up out of here, y'all. Take care. All, all day, day. Play. Play. Play.